Disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Dr. Joe. And today I am gonna to talk to you about how to use a cane properly. You would think that such a simple thing wouldn't be that hard to do, but even people on TV like Dr. House and Rumpelstiltskin, they don't use their canes right. And I always tell my patients, you don't want to fix one thing and then have something else hurting because you're not doing it right. So let's get going. I'm gonna show you some real simple steps on how to use your cane properly. So some important things to know about the cane before you start walking with it is to have the cane the right height. That's one of the biggest things. You want your cane to sit about where your hip bone is, that bottom bone, the greater trochanter, sits about right here. And you want your elbow to have about a 20 degree angle. So it's gonna sit about like this. You don't want it too high because that's gonna make your shoulder irritated and hurting. And you don't want it too low because then you're gonna lean over into the cane. The cane is really just to assist you with some balance. You're not supposed to rely on it and put all your weight on it. The next important piece is what hand to hold the cane in. A lot of those TV show people like to keep the cane on the same side of their injured leg. You actually wanna hold it on the opposite side. So if I'm holding it in my right hand, my left leg is the one that needs help. Your cane is gonna always follow the injured leg. So if that foot goes forward, the cane goes forward. If it's back behind, the cane is behind. So I'm actually gonna walk a little bit and show you you always want to start off with that injured leg so you can bring the cane forward. So it's going to follow the whole time. So it's not going first and then you kind of stepping and going through. That would just not be safe at all. But it's following that side the whole time. Cane in the opposite hand following that leg. Once you do it a couple times, it becomes pretty easy. Sometimes it's hard at first if you think about it too much, but naturally we walk, our opposite arm goes with our leg. So we're just following our natural pattern of our body so we don't end up making anything else sore or injured or irritated. So one more time, walking through. So there you have it, simple as that. If you have any questions, please leave a question in the comment section. And if you'd like to check out some more of my videos, please go to AskDrJoe.com. And remember, be safe, have fun, and I hope you feel better.